Okay, the queen is coming. <laughs> Y'all can actually take the hookah yeah. on this side. Welcome to my channel. Big time. 
<laughs> okay, the queen is coming. <laughs> Okay, do you 
Wendy used to be gay. Okay. That's going to be the caption. They not playing. Y'all not playing with it.
Box led at a time, all right? Okay. One musher, one passenger. Passenger by far is the easier spot. Sit in there, enjoying the views, all the dog butts you can handle. You can heckle the musher, all that good stuff as we go along. Take video, photos if you want to. Bless you. Uh, musher doing a little bit more work. That's the person actually controlling the speed of the dogs and also who I'm giving hand signals to, all right? We have 147 dogs in our kennel. So like 20% are cut out to be the lead dogs. Something that we kind of look for is to grow older. If they're strong running, uh, intelligent dogs, we slowly start bumming up towards the front, right? Who we have here today, you kind of know it. We got Elsa right here. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> we got Hatcher right here, guys. Uh, so you're going to kind of know something, guys. With that many dogs, every time we do have a litter, we assign a theme to it. It just helps us keep track of the name. So Elsa's part of the frozen litter, right? Yay. Hatchet. He's got a brother's name like Chisel, you know, Axe, things like that. Kind of like a tool litter. As we come down the line, we get to what we call the point dogs. Point dogs are also really intelligent. Maybe they're a lead dog in training and just not there yet. Maybe they need a year or two to kind of work out the kinks. Hold on idea, now. Just kind of thing, right? One of the things they actually help us do is take certain corners a little bit wider than we normally would, so we're not cutting things too close, mm -hmm. right? Who we have here today, we have a little polar bear. Just polar is what we call polar. it. Polar. And then we have Olaf. So Elsa Olaf. and Olaf are actually brother and sister, right? From the same litter, oh. right? Okay, hey guys, all the dogs are super friendly. Don't be afraid to love up on them today, right? Watch your brown, baby. <laughs> they know they're about to run. They get pretty excited, guys. They want to run. Oh, they like running, so this oh, yeah, is something yeah. they enjoy. Hey. Hey guys, since we come down the line, we get to what we call the team. Team dogs, these are the goobers. These are the knuckleheads, the underachievers sometimes, all right? Uh, this spot right here, guys, where we'll put it like an older dog when they slow down a little bit. Or a new dog when they first start running. Just right here is where they can cause the least amount of trouble, right? <laughs> So we have here today, we got little Leia right here. This is Princess Leia from the Star Wars litter. So like Chewie, Vader, those are her brothers and sisters, right? Mm -hmm. She's our slowest dog, guys. She's got the little short stubby legs. <laughs> so this is a good spot for her right here, not working her too hard, right? Next to uh, Leia, we have Ivar. I don't know if you guys ever watched the show Vikings, but that's where the names are coming from. So it's like Lagatha, uh. Rolo, Ragnar. And we got Ivar right here, right? Ivar's the one that's gonna maybe try to steal a glove or something like that, guys, try to chew on it. So just be aware of that, right? <laughs> Then the way back, guys, we have what we call the wheel dogs. The wheel dogs are the meat potatoes, right? They're the workhorses of the team. Maybe not always the fastest dogs, but they tend to be some of the stronger ones. These guys in particular are really helping us out on the uphill. They're the ones that really get the cogs turning from a dead stop, right? So you can kind of think of as the back four is the torque, while the front four are the little more speedy guys, right? <laughs> what we have here today, guys, this is going to be our most vocal dog. This is Nock, part of the Hi, archery yeah. litter. Yeah, he's got some beautiful blue eyes. But he's a very loud dog, guys. You're going to notice that as we come to stops. He's going to be the one kind of parking a little bit more than everyone else. Next to Knock, you got Clyde from Bonnie and Clyde. Right? Hey. So it's a small litter. It's just him and his sister. So it's Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. Uh, Clyde tends to be a crowd favorite, guys. He's just a lug nut, but he's a great dog. Right? Mm -hmm. Snow from your boots, the trail, stuff like that can kind of get on the deck and make it slippery. If you step on it, you can send yourself Ooh. for a ride if you're not careful. Yeah. Oh, that's just demo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse, yeah. So we're not going to step on that, right? Uh -huh. That's right. You got two ways to get into the sled. Sit down. First way is just both feet on one side. <laughs> Sitting down like that, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Or if it's easier, y'all, you can toss the leg over, okay. scout the sled, just pop yourself down. Okay. Right? Once seated, just put your feet out in front of you, right? Uh, if you have a camera, guys, phone, you want to take videos, uh, photos, that's fine. But if you have nothing in your hands, Kind of just put them in your lap, right? One thing we don't want to see is you guys holding onto the sides like this, tossing the wings out, as I like to say. A little bit later on, some of the trails are just going to narrow down a little bit. You don't want to bonk an elbow on like a stump or a tree or anything like that. So okay? we, ain't, we ain't gonna tip over then. It's usually the person that asks that it happens to. Huh? Oh, no. It's usually the person that asks that. Oh no, please don't jinx me. <laughs> no, no, the break. I'm gonna go into detail about that here in a second. Hey, what's that? What's that? So that's knock. 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 She's the one that's going to be very vocal. Nice. Calm down. Right, got a few parts of the sled. This piece of wood up top is called the hand bow. Okay. That's what you're holding on to right there. Okay. Down low, you got these rubber tires on top of the wood. These are called the rails. That's what you're standing on as we're running along. Okay. okay. Remember, nice bend in the knees. Don't have your legs locked out. Just makes you a little top heavy, a little tipsy. Okay. Nice athletic stance as we're going along.
It was the best part. It was so fast. Uh huh. And then while you're sitting there, it just it kind of comes up on you out of nowhere. And then all of a sudden, you're just like rocking it down. And then you take a turn immediately afterwards. You're just leaning. So was it like an adrenaline adrenaline rush? Yeah. Oh no doubt. Yeah, for sure. Oh <laughs> my god. Especially if you're the one controlling. You're like, okay. Uh huh. <laughs> so it is important to know the signals and know when to like. Definitely. I guess. Yeah. Oh my god. And make sure you lean because there's a few times where I feel like we were turning and he wasn't leaning. <laughs> Catch the recording. <laughs> so, uh, Robbie, we're gonna have you come be the musher. Just Clyde, yeah. Clyde in the back. Clyde in the back. Oh. Leia? Leia or Ivar? Leia. And let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it takes off. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hit! 
because of all these trees. Ooh, good breath. Woo! The leg came off the ground. <laughs> Turn to the right, so we got the hip going to the right now. Hip! One foot on the brake, we're slowing it down. Hip, and one foot on the brake. Oh, it's down. Hip! Stop it, we're stopping it, put all the way on the brake. Nice job! He killed it! Look at him! 